now time for the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show brings you famous celebrities and amazing people from all over the world. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. So sit back and relax and enjoy the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a fresh website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, and also on iTunes, Google Play, and Apple. And take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. We're here with a wonderful lady from Austin, Texas, singer, musician, guitarist, and uh, she's got a website called ellashines.com she's got some albums out called big curl pants drive and i love christmas and she's got some songs that are really lighting up the internet and um she's also um you know playing some shows as well too and uh just very very unique she's been in um quite a few fests and um also just uh, making a big splash on the austin music scene so without further ado ladies and gentlemen deep in the heart of texas the homie of fabulous thunderbirds the next fabulous singer Ella Reed. Ella, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Not a problem. So you're a singer, musician, guitarist from Austin, Texas. You have a website called ellashines.com. You got quite a few albums out, Big Curl Pants, Drive, I Love Christmas, and you got some, some songs that had just been lighting up on the internet, and um, you also... Um, have got some um, you know tours and uh, other projects coming up. But first, before we get into all that, uh, tell us how I got started. Um, I think I've been basically been doing music for as long as I can remember. Um, just yeah, since I was a young kid, and uh, I started out uh, classically trained, and then um, I fell in love with uh, some bands, and and decided like, yeah, you know what, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I want to do that, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, I uh, my life kind of veered. I I went to school. I got a couple degrees and worked in corporate for a while, and then decided like, Mm-mm, no, it doesn't make me fully, fully happy. So we moved to Austin, Texas, and um, from San Francisco, and I've been full time ever since. Said I I want to do this. I want to do this full time, and I learned how to hustle. I learned how to book. I learned how to do this music thing, and uh, yeah, I mean, I've been playing. I've been writing albums for years, and. Um, it's finally kind of starting to hit, and I'm really excited. I've been doing some cool collaborations lately, too, with, like, Matt Parmenter from Ice Cream Factory Studios, fabulous studio here in Austin. And um, it's really, we've shifted gears, and we're kind of doing, like, an indie pop kind of, I uh, just released a new single this week called Iris and Your Beautiful Soul, kind of a synth, groovy, oh, you gotta, gotta check it out. Um, but that's kind of, that's my, that's my simple but sweet short that is amazing too. And uh, what are some of the what are some of the jobs you worked in uh, corporate, or what degrees did you get before you decided to get into um, full time music? It seems that's the most common route these days. You work corporate, and then you decide to go full time music. That's correct. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And was in Austin is that kind of city that will allow for that, which is awesome. Um, the amount of venues and um, just the people are. It's really, really an awesome city, and the weather is pretty awesome too. So, mm-hmm. I can't complain about that. I was mm-hmm. referring about I was referring about the degrees you got in and the jobs you worked with before getting into music full time. That's what I was trying to get at. Oh, got it. So, my, I got a degree in screenwriting and um, and photography, and then I went back to get another degree in graphic design and fine arts. So, I used both of those degrees, but um, my my job in San Francisco was that I was a creative director of a boutique real estate company called Barbie Gelato Real Estate. Wow. Which was awesome. And uh, I love that, but I am finally in my happy place. That was amazing, too. Yeah. What, was, what was the one moment that influenced you into uh, getting into music, especially at an early age? I think I played an early show um, 
I played my first show and I tell you, there were like two people there and it was just not inspired, but I tell you what I was. And, um, I like being on stage. I love, I love interacting with people. And I think that's, um, to be able to have that connectivity and that like one little show. And I was, I was very young when I did my first show, but it was, um, it was life changing. And I, um, I was like, yes, I could do this. I could do this. I want to connect with people. I want to write songs that relate and, and speak to people. That was amazing too. And who are some of your favorite um, singers and uh, artists growing up? Growing up, oh, I loved uh, Gwen Stefani. I really dug her. Um, Ani DeFranco is one of my um, one of my favorite indie artists. Um, you know, and her path and her the way that she carved out her own path is really really inspiring to me. I'm kind of a driving force. I'm uh, definitely not a stand around and just wait for it kind of girl. So. I, her path and her music really speaks to me like that. And then, of course, the Indigo Girls has been my forever love. Like one of some old folk influences and all the harmonies. Mm-hmm. When I first heard um, Galileo and the Indigo Girls, that, that album, like that's the one that went like, okay, it's time to do music. <laughs> that was very early, very, very early on. As as amazing as well too, and um, we'll get to some of your uh, awards you won, and also let's talk about a little about your um, albums and uh, upcoming single. Well, actually, you got one that's been lighting up on the internet. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Wagner Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Apple, and Google Play. Also, watch the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube. And make sure you subscribe and take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. We're here with a um, wonderful singer, musician, guitarist, Ella Reed from Austin, Texas. She's got a website called ellashines.com, and she's also got... Um, some albums out which called Big Curl Pants Drive and I Love Christmas and she's got a song that's been pretty much lighting up the internet called Suck It Up Buttercup and uh, first let's uh, talk about that song Thank you, that was um, my first country single um, since when I uh, moved to Austin, That uh, the Big Girl Pants was my country album here that I wrote in Austin and was influenced by Texas and they've got this great uh, kind of red dirt vibe here and I merged my pop sensibilities with country and came up with Suck It Up Buttercup and I actually uh, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who is from Houston and she said suck it up girl and I said like what like suck it up buttercup and she explained it to me because I'm from originally from Minnesota um up where you're at right now and we don't I had I've never heard that so I was inspired by that like suck it up buttercup and I found that that's a that's a usual that's a regular thing down here in Texas (laughs) and in the south but that's my inspiration and it's been on my set list ever since I wrote it so it's been good people love it people relate to it very well that is amazing too you also got some other hits like you better run feed the beast you can mm-hmm. talk about those and uh what are some of the other singles that you that you had that you noticed to have really lit it up on the uh, internet sure um uh one of my first singles drive is uh is very is a pretty popular song for my first full album and um light it up has been uh has been a hit this summer it's kind of the new disco single that we've got the music video for on lshines.com and uh that was the first one that i wrote with matt parmenter um from here in austin at ice cream factory studios and that's been fun and that's going to veer off from country but i love it it kind of goes back to my pop roots and makes people happy which is uh which is wonderful i love to see people dancing to my music that's a uh, and just bringing joy it's pretty cool Mm-hmm. And, and also talk. Let's talk about your upcoming album as well, too, and um, your upcoming projects as well. So let's uh, hear more about that. Yeah. So I just dropped a single called "Iris and Your Beautiful Soul," and that one has all, everything to do with being a photographer and what you see through the lens of your camera. And it, um, the chorus is, um, "I'm going to use my camera and capture your soul." And 
it's just kind of, it's a beautiful synth groove and uh, it just meant to make you move and make, uh, it's just got that relatable synth groove that just kind of pulses through your body. And uh, I consider it very contagious. Obviously, I'm very excited about it because, you know, it's my baby. But um, that's our baby, sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. So I'm just doing singles this year. I'm not going to release an album till maybe 2020. Um, doing single, video, single, and a video. So I've got another Christmas video coming out in um, November for um, Christmas Needs a Suntan. But I'm just on the move. It's really, nice. really fun to just be focused on visuals and just one song at a time. There's really something beautiful about that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, too. Single video, single video. I like that. And um, I don't know many people can do it, which is just fantastic. And, of course, I was just going to um, you know, ask you as well, too, like with your um, your um, with all the singles, are you going to compose them to the upcoming album in 2020, or will they be released like in an, on an EP, or be just like singles on um, – on iTunes, Google, Apple Play, and um, other streaming services? You know what? I don't know. Right now, they're all just singles on streaming services and Spotify. And, um, and all the, you know, the usual di uh, digital distribution uh, platforms, but I don't know, you know, I, um, I'm just moving really fast right now. And it's, um, it's quite brilliant. So who knows, I could just write a whole new album by next year. But right now, I'm just doing the singles just feeling out what comes and um, just focusing on the one at a time. I found that um, sometimes things get lost in the albums and, you know, they're with my albums past, I feel like there've been a couple songs where I go like, Oh, that would have been so amazing as like a, a single and then have a video to mm -hmm. follow and to push that up. So I'm like, mm, I'm just going to take my time. And with all my art degrees, it's easy for me to do. Um, I do a lot of my own artwork and a lot of my own video and editing. Um, so that's like it's been kind of a 360 vibe. I feel like I'm back in art school and I'm just in that like excited and ready to create and, and make some cool stuff. And it's it's great to be able to do that. That is amazing, too. And I was going to ask you to uh, do an acapella version of that song you mentioned about um, Iris and um, like oh, your latest yeah. album. Let me so, sing the chorus. Um, yeah, go ahead. And you can just uh, sing a little bit for us. We'd love to hear it. Sure. So the chorus goes, I'm going to get my camera on capsule to your soul. Take a piece of you. You'll never know. I'll take you with me wherever I go. My iris and your beautiful soul. And it goes into. You want me to keep going? <laughs> it, it, it's it's up to it's up it's up to you. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Let's do like verse two. Um, fly over mountains, Parisian fountains, shooting in the golden hour. My shadows open, flow like the ocean. Fierce and fearless, I bear my soul. I'm gonna use my camera and capture your soul. Take a piece of you, you'll never know. I'll take you with me wherever I go. My iris and your beautiful soul. Take a leap of faith into my arms. My heart is pounding. Bounding in no safety net, no way back from this. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Chorus, but that's <laughs> that amazing. You're fantastic. Thanks. And of course, with the um the songwriting, the lyrics, and everything else. So, uh, what do you what do you base your lyrics on? Oh, you know what? It depends on the story, depends on the groove. So Matt and I sit in the studio. And with this one in particular, we kind of, we just, he came up with the first line, I'm going to use my camera to capture your soul. And I came up with the rest of the chorus, um, take a piece of you, you'll never know, kind of based on the, um, the Native American theory of like, you know, that um, they believe that the, taking a picture takes, like, takes a piece of your soul. Mm -hmm. And then we just came into the, the idea of the whole camera thing. And we just batted it around until we found really what felt good. And using um, ideas of lenses and um, shooting in golden hour, which, of course, is beautiful. And the only thing I get up early for. Every <laughs> it's like 7 a.m. radio shows and photo shoots. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's just like, you know, for me, it's like, you know, just having coffee at this time, too. So, and, and, yeah, and, of course, right? and, and, and of course, you know, I'm kind of having a little something myself as well, too. But unfortunately, I can't see what you're drinking. So I'll have to um, ah! talk, talk about that another time. <laughs> and, right? and course, another time, another radio show. <laughs> there you go. And of course, you know, speaking of uh, being on tour and, um, you know, going places here and there and everything else. And um, where will we be playing next uh, if you're going to be on tour again? Um, I'm going to my next stop is uh, the Mesa Music Festival in Arizona. Um, so I'm going to be stopping out there. I'm going to be doing a couple house concerts in and around um, the Arizona area. And that's my basically my, my next stop in the nearest future. So I'm playing back to a one-to-one show at a cool venue in Austin in December. And December for me is really busy. Like, there's just... Mm-hmm. I kind of stay close to home and we do Christmas and then I'm planning to go on tour um, January, February, March. Oh, okay. And where would you say besides Texas, your um, your music has been popular, like, you know, based on a number of hits, not just in Austin, Texas or the whole state. It's like, where else have you gotten some uh, popularity? Absolutely. So I'm um, definitely in uh, urban areas, so like, like Chicago, Minneapolis, in the, like, the Midwest zone. Not been to North Dakota yet, planning to come. Um and then down south, so like New Orleans, uh, Tennessee, and Texas, and then California, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Amazing. Sounds like you got your uh, tour all set for next year. I know, right? Well, I just have to do them one at a time and kind of like come back home and my homebody. When I'm not doing music, I like to hang outside with my dog and my husband. Okay. There you, there you go. <laughs> you can't leave him out. I go like the dogs. No. <laughs> and of course, you know it's good to have him with too. We'll talk about one of your awards you won, and also yeah. some other things as well. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com dot com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at one eight hundred three zero three three nine. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Radio Public, Anchor FM, as well as iTunes, Google Play, and Apple. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. We're here with Ella Reed, singer, musician, guitarist from Austin, Texas. Has a website called ellashines.com. She's released a few albums and quite a few singles that are really lighting up on the internet. And you also um, won a prestigious award in Orange Beach, Alabama. Let's uh, hear more about it. Uh, the Frank Brown, um, the Frank Brown Festival is awesome. Uh, it's a basically a small community on the beach, but um, you're getting people from Nashville and you're getting people from all over the place. And um, it was one of my first experiences with um, with Nashville and uh, the Nashville um, NSAI, which is uh, Nashville Society. Oh, I can't even think of the acronym. Somebody's going to kill me right now. <laughs> <laughs> NSAI. Anyway, um, it was wonderful. But I was my first uh, experience hearing these gals coming out of Nashville. There were guys too, but predominantly I... Um, I was focusing on the ladies and um, they were just killing it. And um, uh, I just was in awe and I was ready to be really inspired. And they always have a, a songwriting contest and I went first. And you know, that's very rare to be first and win. So out of 30 people, I um, I won that prestigious award. And um, that was, for me, that was a real honor. And um, yeah, that was the beginning of my songwriting, and I was able to hone my craft from there. So it was uh, it's cool. And, you know, of course, Frank Brown, if you're a singer-songwriter, it's a great way to go out and to start doing festivals and just get in the game. That was amazing, too. And speaking of Music Fest, uh, where else have you played in terms of uh, Music Fest? You talked about the one in Mesa, and what are some of the other ones you went out and played, especially getting some recognition? Let's see here. It's been a while. You know, I've been focusing mainly on solo stuff in the last six months and being in the studio. I have, um, so I haven't really been doing a ton of festivals. Um, you know, I played some, it's been more like off stage stuff. I did some off, like unofficial South by Southwest and um, some unofficial state fair stuff up in Minnesota. But I have, really haven't traveled that much out of Austin. Um, 
Not yet. I have a lot of plans and I've got booking agents right now on festivals. So I'm focusing right now on festivals, big, big festivals for uh, next summer, 2020. So I'm just going to keep it at that. The rest of them aren't that notable. I've been really just kind of honing my craft. That is amazing, too. Looking forward to what you have in 2020. Love to have you back Thank on you. and give us an update. And uh, just a few more things here. We know you're yeah. very busy, but always a pleasure to have you on. What do you consider you so most favorite? No problem. What's your favorite project and what's challenging for you? Well, what kind of project? Uh, your project? favorite and the most challenging. Oh, musical project. Let's see. Um, well, I think, actually, I would have to say Iris and Your Beautiful Soul only because we had, we it's gone through so many revisions that like we had the chorus and then we put pieces together and we didn't stop until it was perfect. And um, we call that challenging or just pushing through. I think both because it's, um, it's a, been the most satisfying single that I've had mainly because we just didn't stop until it was perfect. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and thank you to Matt for like going like, okay, can we go in the studio one more time? Can I do the vocals one more time? And like, it's not perfect. Let's just add some more notes on there and just getting it sonically beautiful. Because both of us really wanted to be, um, this is something we're both really proud of. And I think it's really just going to speak to people and just move, move people. So I think that's Iris, Iris and your beautiful soul. That is amazing. Yeah. Looking, looking forward to it. And what's, your, and what's your most memorable moment? Oh, well, you know, we played the Austin Rodeo Barbecue. Um, Ooh, last I year. love barbecue. You're making me hungry. Ah, you need to come to Austin. We have the barbecue. Oh, we have the hookup. We have the hookup. <laughs> but there's a contest at the, um, at the um, just uh, like around the time they do the Austin Rodeo, which is fabulous. I want to play the Austin Rodeo too. And, um, so they had this big cook off, and we were this, they had a huge tents all over the place. And we played the main stage on there, and I had like hundreds of people singing along to me to the um, Four Non Blondes tune, the you know, like hey, hey oh, what's hey, going on? Hey, hey. What's yes. going on? And I had them all singing, and then they, we did a cappella, and they sing back to me. I was like, it was a rock star moment. It was, um, it was beautiful. <laughs> but that's the stuff that I love, like you know, the connectivity, and I go like, ah, it's so cool, you know, music. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and of course, they're going through a hard time. You just say, suck it up, buttercup. Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah. And I do. I get calls. <laughs> and I get it back. They go like, Ellen, stop wide and suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> I did it to myself. It's all and, good. And I can say that the other people as you progress. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? <clears throat> my mom. I would definitely say my mom. She's always been there. She's always been a cheerleader. Okay. Yeah. And, that's good. And what's the best advice you can give they invite at this point? To whom? Sorry? What's your, what's your best advice you can give they invite at this point? Any at this point, never give up. And it's never too late. Mm-hmm. It's and, never too late to, do, to be really, really happy. You don't have to be stuck. <laughs> good advice. We'll uh, all remember <laughs> that. And Ellis, just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you on again soon. And uh, one more thing before we let you go here. You've been great. What's your upcoming projects? What's your website? How do people contact you? And where can people find your music? Absolutely. So uh, right now, go uh, listen to Iris and Your Beautiful Soul on Spotify. And it's going to be on all just um, platforms coming this Friday to and to download and to stream. And uh, like, follow Instagram, ellashines.com is my website. And you can find everything that you need on there. And um, thank you so much for having me on today. I'm really excited. We've got some new stuff. And we got a Christmas single coming out um, in November. Um, Christmas Needs a Suntan video is already done. I edited it myself. <laughs> all right, Christmas suntan. I think we can all use it, especially in Austin. Right? <laughs> Ella just, there you go, y'all. Ella, just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Thank Looking so forward much. to having you on back soon. No problem. And do me one favor, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Keep us up to date. Yeah, you got it. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. Also, become a sponsor of the program and or donate today at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of The Mike Wagner Show.